So in community tab, I made the statement, everybody do not deserve a seat at the table of your life. And I was talking about having the wrong people in your life and how that brings just unnecessary, I say unnecessary destruction to your life. Because let's just be real. Some of us, we know true. We know, we know how we've been raised. We have our values in place. Um, we know how to kind of navigate this life that will lead to us being successful in it. But sometimes we do veer off that path because of uh, wanting to be like everybody else, wanting to be friends with this, this, that person. And we end up finding ourselves in situations where our own own good morals and our own good character is corrupted because of bad influences in our life. And even as an adult, um, this is a lesson that I feel like a lot of adults are still learning because we choose to connect ourselves to people that are not good for us because, you know, we want the hype or we want to feel good. We don't want to be lonely. We don't want to be sad. But when it comes to relationships, you have to know they're very powerful. So I love when God says evil communication corrupt good manners because it is both a warning and a valuable piece of wisdom because when it comes to you know your life that whoever you decide to connect with is going to shape your life it's going to shape the way how you move it's going to shape your direction i hate to see people that weren't into drugs but when they were hanging around people that were doing drugs now they're all strung out on it i hate to see just good women and good men that you know have a lot going for themselves but they end up in the wrong relationships you know just with the wrong people and their whole life is just turned upside down so it does matter who you hang with and of course we could just make think that okay maybe you get too deep with it you know we could change people and all that but god's word stays the same and it's a lot of wisdom in there. So I'm going to trust him on that. You know, sometimes you may think that it's a harsh thing to cut out people or to go and not have no more contact with a certain person. But when you look at your life and you look how bad you are and you look at the things that you even just work for on the natural side of things or on the spiritual side of things, you look at what you're trying to just, you know, break free from. Um, you're working on certain areas in your life. You allow God to mold you and shape you. You don't want that to be interrupted. You don't want that to be just watered down by people that don't need to be in your life like that. And that's not being mean. It's not personal. But it's more just, uh, I'm trying to disconnect from the bad behavior. I'm trying to disconnect from the bad character. Because yes, people do change. But until that happens, um, we're going to put that distance because I'm not going to go down that same path that you're trying to go down. And it's okay to say goodbye. It's okay to disconnect. It's okay to block. It's okay to delete the number, change your number, because this is life. You don't have one. And it's very important that you make sure that, you know, you keep, keep your discernment up, that you don't allow people just to walk in out your life casually like that, that, hey, you're going to have discernment. We're going to, you know, get to know people and to understand who, what they're about and make the wise decision because you want your life to go in up a direction, not down.